Okay, so this is the coolest Airbnb we've ever seen. Every room has a different theme. This is the Africa room. Um, there's some people staying in this one right now, and they let us come in here briefly so we can show it off. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's super cool. I mean, the guy that owns this property, he's been all over the world collecting things. This is all stuff he's collected himself. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We're gonna just definitely see that. And this is a real elephant foot. That's what he told us, which is absolutely wild. <laughs> and then over here, we got this bathroom. Oh, and that leads to the. Okay, it leads to the Egyptian room. Let me close their door real quick. Oh, they had it open. So that's one of the secret rooms. You want to go in there real quick and see it? That is so cool. So he called that the psychedelic room. And I'd probably sleep in there. <laughs> I'd love to sleep in there. And this is the, it's such a random room to have that too. Out of all the rooms here. And like even this part, you know, with, with this painting. So this is definitely one of the coolest things we've seen here by far. So this isn't like a room that people stay in, it's just kind of for fun. You know, it's a lounge room, you got a, a TV right here behind the curtains for game systems and whatnot. You ready? Which I love that idea because you can cover it up. I mean, he's got artifacts everywhere. These mummies. I mean, this, this place is beautiful. Every single inch of it. I mean, the couch. Now, some of this stuff is actually real artifacts. That's what's really cool about this. But by far the coolest part. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready? Five. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Have you ever seen anything like that? Let's go in. So he has a secret room. We got a pole. And where was this one? How did he eat? Was this? I thought it opened. What? Oh. Did he have my way to close it? Yeah. Just slide. Okay, so you got a mummy right there, which we never even knew about this, that there's another, I guess, three secret rooms here. So you got a mummy. Okay. You open it. And this was like a scavenger hunt room at one point. Um, it still is. Oh, it still is? Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get my flashlight out. So check out all this cool stuff in here. I mean, this is awesome. The way he thought of all this, old TV. So I think he isn't doing the scavenger hunts as much because people were breaking stuff. You always have to bring something. But we had no idea that this was here until our last day. Go ahead and close that. And I don't think that the other one is here. We would have mentioned that probably. Wanna watch the thing close again? So it's located. Wait, where is it? Oh, you have it there. 
You sure? You made that out of a garage opener. Crazy. Never seen anything like this. So that is extremely cool. I mean, you would never know that was there, you know, if it could be an escape room, you know, if robbers ever came or something. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, yeah, this way. Now this is super cool. We have an opium bed right here, which is one of the most elaborate opium beds I've ever seen. I mean, it looks super comfortable. It's very ornate. It's got shelves in it. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I would, you know, my mother has one, but it's, it, it's nothing like that. Oh, I guess to open it, you. Where'd you get that? Oh, okay. So you got extra pillows and stuff in there, if you need them. I mean, the fact that he finds all this awesome furniture, I mean, it's just crazy. And everything in this house, everything, every electronic device works with um, an Alexa or, what's the other one? There's an Alexa and then the, the Google one. They're all integrated, every single thing. The fridges, the lights, the TVs. Um, it's, it's absolutely insane. Now we got an extra sink in here. Now this is a waterfall. I'm not sure if it works, if it's plugged in or not. I'd love to see the water going on that, but I don't think he, he probably has it unplugged for a reason. Now this room is more Indian themed, obviously. Bed looks super, super comfortable. So look at this bed. I mean, the, he's got murals on the walls everywhere. Super comfortable beds everywhere. Cool chairs. I mean, he, he's collected stuff his whole life. So these control everything and anything you want to happen. The TVs, the music, the, the lights, the every toilet in the house is one of those like $4,000 Toto toilets. He's got this couch that folds out into a bed. I mean, definitely locked rooms. So we'll go ahead and leave this one for now. Did we miss anything up here? Okay. Yeah. Let's go to one of them. Yeah, once I tell everybody, like, that is like, real quick before we go into it. So there's a wine cellar right here. But what's cool about this wine cellar? Here's the throne. It's not a wine cellar. And we actually thought it was when we first came here. So this is the owner's actual room. Some of these instruments are extremely rare. He has a Louis Vuitton mini fridge. I mean, check this out. Who would kill to have that? <laughs> so everything is, I mean, he's, I don't know how he did this. Everything's integrated. The Alexas, the, the Googles. He has it all connected. Um, you just can't unplug anything. 
everything can play music. You can you can turn on the TV with all of it. I mean, you can have the lights turn on. I mean, it's. Let's see if it works. Hey Google. Hey Alexa. Play Pink Floyd. Here's some music by Pink Floyd on Amazon Music. Where's that little list that we have? So every room has a list of like commands and it shows you exactly what you can do and what you can tell it to do. You seem to have misplaced already. But Hey Google, turn on the chandeliers. Hello? Alexa, turn on the lights. I think you need to turn the main lights. Which one do you want? Oh wait, here it is. So check this out. A few things share the main Alexa, lights. Alexa, bedroom lamp on. Alexa, vanity on. that one over there. Alexa, bedroom chandelier, 50%. Who worked on the bedroom chandelier? Oh, I had turned it off last night. Apologies. Alexa, bedroom chandelier, 90%. That's not a chandelier. That is. That's not a chandelier. But that's not the bedroom, huh? Mm-hmm. Alexa, bedroom chandelier, 80%. There we go. That's those two we have on here. Yeah. Alexa, lamp on. Lamp isn't responding. It's oh. not the network connection and power supply. Amazon TV on. <laughs> Alexa, stop playing music. So you can, you know, I had my PlayStation hooked up to it. And I mean, you just do all kinds of crazy stuff on here. It's cool. I mean, e even the stuff in the, the lights in the pool, the hot tub, it's it's all controlled the same way. I've never seen integration like this before. Um, he told me that he was going to, I got his number, he was going to show me how all this works. But we got to see the bathroom. I already showed him. Oh, you did? Now this was initially open. When we first got here, this room was open, but we haven't been able to get in since. But, I mean, this is just... What can you say? It's a beautiful, beautiful home. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have a, a closet, but that's because he keeps his personal objects in there, I believe, so they keep it locked. But he gave us another place to keep our stuff. But I think we got the coolest room. We'll close that. Alexa, turn off all lights. Alexa, turn off all the lights. Alexa, turn off the TV. Alexa, turn off the TV. Good girl. <laughs> Now there's Wi-Fi extenders everywhere, so even in the pool in the cabana area, you can um, have Wi-Fi out there, which is super cool. Alexa, turn off TV. It's okay, just leave it there. Back to you. Thank God to see the living room. 
Can you do it? So take a look at this one more time. With, with all this clothes, how much it actually looks like a wine room. I mean, imagine we came in here and we saw this. So that's the first thing we saw, and there, there is real wine in there, but the door just has pictures of wine. So we had no idea that this was our room. Um, he showed us this, I, for, I forgot what, what did he tell us was in here? So that's his office, you can't go in there. Oh, okay. He, he showed it to us, but I didn't even remember what it, what it was. Well, I don't come down for you guys. Will you have an awesome day? You too. Take care. So this room is just kind of for fun. You got crowns. It's everywhere. And look at this. Did you get your crown? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I love this thing. I don't know why. But I think we need to get some crowns. Okay, let's go see the living room. And I love this painting, by the way. I don't know what it is about it, but this, some of the paintings in this house are just so cool. I actually messaged him asking if I could buy that because I thought that was so, so interesting. It's like an enamel painting, but I think he likes his stuff. Check out this. It looks like a little village in here. Your white stool. Did you find the pan? Oh, thank you. Say what? Uh, Say what? Did you find the pan? No. You want to go look for it? <laughs> Did you show the thing up there? Mm hmm. Fine, get, I will go look for it. From the back. Yeah. No rush, though. Yeah, yeah, give me a moment, though. Yeah. So he had told me earlier I could put on this. Let's put it on real quick. It's a little big for me. Really wish I could have one of these. Sparta. Can you imagine fighting <laughs> on this? <laughs> How do I look? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so cool. And he told me that that actually opens up there. He said there's a painting wow. behind it. I don't know how he opens it, but. That awesome bicycle. This statue, which is like, I mean, it's just so detailed. Is it wood? No, it's actual stone. This guy knows how to live. <laughs> Man. I mean, look at the window that overlooks the pool. Can I call my phone, please? Oh, shit, the ring is off because we were in church. So this was one oh. of the coolest rooms that we had seen. Somewhere up there. You want to make calls still? You still want to make calls? From this angle, so you can see the, the little terrace up there. Because from this angle, it, I mean, it just looks. I don't know why I love that. Sorry. I mean, you didn't. And there's details everywhere. Like, look at this little mouse hole with a little mouse on it. Now, this room is the most fun. I think at least. Okay. So this is the prison room. You've got this awesome vault door. You can see the garage. It's got all the amenities. You've got the mini fridge. It's got a phone for your one phone call. It's got an electric chair. Would you like to see me get electric keys, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is it, guys.
This is how it ends. It's nice knowing you, though. Five, four, three, two. And I'm alive again. <laughs> now I'm the very bad, so I'm gonna have to be put in jail. So where are those handcuffs at? <laughs> and they've got prisoner costumes, they got handcuffs. And there's some secret stuff in here too. You wanna put the handcuffs on me? Cut that part out and start again. What did I do, officer? Nothing. Okay. This is ridiculous. At least it looks comfortable. But having an electric chair right by a jail is the best for morale. Got a minute. Well, I guess this is it. Huh. Well, do I need to get a phone call? Mm-mm. Alexa, play Pink Floyd. My Alexa doesn't even work. Alexa, play rock music. The station, Rock Arena Radio, on Amazon Music. Okay, let me come down this jail. So you got. different prison jumpsuits, you got the old fashioned kind, the black and white one, and then you got the inmate one, and then there's uh, some weapons ones that are more like a sketchy jumpsuit that my wife was super sketchy on. Alexa, stop. Now there's also a secret here. If you want to open that, do no. it. Can you get the cuffs off and see that? So if you pull this, it's a way to get out because that actually does lock. This is always hard to get out of. Last time I had some problems. Here's the cool little terrace out here. I was gonna drink that. <laughs> Let me put the handcuffs back real quick, and then we'll head to the backyard. Let's go out here. So we have some awesome water features. Once the hot tub really gets going, the river forms here. When the hot tub gets super hot, the waterfall is not on right now, but the lights make the mini coat in the podium. Look at that. I can imagine having parties out here. I mean, there's tables over there. How do you even get that here? <laughs> you 
got an old uh, water pump system. So this, I mean, throwing parties here would be so cool. We've got a real working TV. You know, I can look at my PlayStation. Um, the bar has actual fridges back there. We got the xylophone. The speakers up there. I had it hooked up one of the Alexis. Jesus Christ loves you. Oh, beautiful. So I hooked up an Alexa to one of the speakers, but I also hooked up my actual speaker to the speaker. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I don't know how he keeps that TV from not being destroyed, but currently he has a way. But man, if it wasn't so cold, you could have such a cool party out here. This is what I want. I, I, I had one of these. It didn't have a footrest, but you know we could we could have one of these hung. I think I might be doing it wrong, <laughs> but it's something like this. I can imagine we could probably use this for a few different activities, but uh, I think this is what it's meant for. It's actually really comfortable. I could easily fall asleep on this. I had one of these in high school, and my buddy sat on it, and he had a, a glass of water under it, and he fell on it. That's you. Oh, that is me. What do you know? Huh. We got flamingos everywhere. So we didn't do much swimming because it's very cold. It's pretty good going though. I don't know how. It was like 32 degrees last night, I think. Uh huh. Way too cold. Hi, puppy. So this is where like, people come in and. Oh my gosh, there's so many mosquitoes. Wait, can we take some pictures together in front of that? There's a lot of mosquitoes. Can we take a picture of me? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get bitten.